Hello, friends and fam. Welcome back to Divinity Original Sin 2, episode number 10, if you're watching this on YouTube. In the last episode, we bested a very substantial Void Woken right over here. We got a nice dagger upgrade from him. And to start off today's episode, I want to head over here to the Hollow Marsh's ruined castle. Because uh, there is a little dungeon down here. And in that dungeon there is a cursed lever and to uncurse that lever we need to bless that lever and now that we have the ability to bless this is a good thing also there is a fountain over here with an endless amount of source in it which is good because we need a little bit more source to finish blessing those pigs that were on fire so we're going to get all the source we need from there. Oh, uh, this guy looks like he's having a bad time. No, stay back. Not another step closer if you want to live. Uh, sneer at the Magister. He doesn't look like he's in any position to kill anyone. Kill? Have you lost your senses? I'm, <laughs> I'm not here to kill. I'm here to die. Oh? You sound like a millennial. Dark magic protects that door. If you're smart, you'll leave. You'll run. Otherwise... The Magister nods towards his hand, and you see the skin is midnight black. Gross. It seems to undulate, as if worms were squirming through his flesh. He grimaces and tucks it underneath his arm, squeezing it tight. Huh. Uh, wonder why he's clutching his hand like that. It's in the blood. I can feel it. I'm just trying to... <coughs> trying to slow it down. Stop it spreading. I don't think that's going to work. Uh, look around at the empty room. What were you doing in here? Excavations. Digging out old weapons. More... Uh, uh, more purging ones. Enough to turn the tide against Source. We thought it'd be simple. But void woken. Undead. Seekers. Now this. We were doomed from the start. Dallas must have known. Hmm. Sorry for your troubles. Wait. Before you go. He looks up at you, his eyes staring deep into yours. I saw how they died. I heard them screaming. I, I don't want to go like that. I don't want to face that. Please. I can't lift my sword. I can't. I can't do it myself. Uh, I'll do what I can. He lowers his eyes to stare at his black, squirming hand. <laughs> Just make it quick. Okay. I'm actually curious what happens if you try to bless this guy. So we're gonna grab some source. This puddle, it glows. Yeah, Lo said that's it's source me. magic. We've gone over this. Uh, doesn't look like you can stop the decomposing. So let's go ahead and do him the favor of ending his life. Good night, sweet prince. Huh, good amount of XP for that. Oh, that makes blessed blood. How interesting. Never seen blessed blood before. Alright, so let's grab some more source on Losa. Let's grab some source on Sibyl. Make another puddle. So this lever over here is what cursed all these magisters. But if we bless it, we can remove the curse. Knowing the reputation of Rackus Rex, and get in here. What is this contraption? Uh, ooh, enraged skill book, cool. Before you stands an ancient shrine. Runes carved deep into its rock. Lay your hands against the your runes. Your fingertips tingle as you reach out to the shrine. You feel power stir in your chest, but you feel lacking, like a cup waiting to be filled. Hmm. The runes are in no language you understand or recognize. Oh, 
I probably need source to open it. Before you stands an ancient yep. you lay your hands on it. Inside you swell up. Your power flows from your chest and into your hands. Green tendrils of power slithering from your fingertips across the shrine. The shrine starts to vibrate and glow. Slabs of stone gliding across each other as it begins to open. Cool. So you need a source point to get in there. And this is how you get the helmet of the five-piece Brachus Rex set. But it is, of course, cursed, so you can't really use it right now. But that's how you get it. And that's all you guys had. All right. So let's grab some source before we leave, because that's the main reason why we came here. Excellent. A drained wand, I'll take that. It's a little valuable. Give it to me. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's go save some pigs. Yeah, we're pretty close. We'll just run. Now, there is a shrieker over here that we could kill with our new purging wand that we got in the last episode. Uh, but there's really no reason to kill that Shrieker. There's some bodies that you can loot underneath it, but doesn't really do much of anything to kill that one, so we're not going to bother. Where is our pig friend? Down here somewhere. There it is. So let's take Losa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Relax, relax. Bless El Pigo. And... One of these pigs you can talk to later, and it's actually a sorceress that you can convince to go back to the Shrine of Amadia and bathe in the blessed waters, and it'll remove the curse, and then she becomes a vendor. But I don't believe you can do that right now. You gotta find her later on over by the dragon. Which is always a fun fight. I'm looking forward to the dragon. All right, so we did that. Um, why don't we do the Brachus Rex's castle? We have the soul jars. Um, and we're right by it. Well, for some reason, I didn't get the Ring of Brachus Rex again. I got it on my very first playthrough, but I didn't get it on the last two. And you're supposed to get it from that asshole skeleton whose soul jar we broke, I'm pretty sure. But I don't think I got it. But ideally, you want to get the Ring of Brachus Rex because it allows you to skip this whole puzzle up here if you have it. But for some reason, I do not have. So we're just going to do the puzzle. Not that it's hard or anything. We'll be fine. Anything in here? Hey, give me that mushroom. All right. Hello. The stone gargoyle trains glistening agate eyes upon you. Its jaws creak open, raining dust as it begins to speak. You are not Brachus Rex. Uh... Can I enter anyways? You may. You may stay forever. Each lock opens only with a soul. And how many of those does one mortal have? I don't know. Maybe you'll find some in the garden. Or maybe your soul will help the next adventurer through. All right. They always do. Let's give it a shot. See if we can figure out the great Brachus, Brachus Rex's puzzle. Um, you probably get a soul in this room. So I'm actually going to do this a little bit differently than I normally would. Because I want to do that fight. So we're going to send Sabeel over here. We're going to have Losa grab this skull. 
Now you're gonna find these skulls around this maze, and you can use them to open one locked door. Um, we're gonna use it to open this door. We're gonna come in here and do this fight because I want the, the XP. Taps one stony claw upon its plinth as it rasps a message to you. Uh -huh. Riddle me this, wanderer. How would mighty Brachus douse a man on fire? Oh, I know this one. You bless them. But I'm just gonna kill them, so. Ow! Fuck. Alright. Let's uh, try and get out of this fire as soon as possible. Splink behind that guy. Backstab. Adrenaline. Sawtooth. And one more backstep. He dead. 425 XP, not bad. You. I'm gonna jump up here. And just beat the shit out of this guy. Cool. Let's go ahead and encourage. Not gonna do much, but whatever. We'll have you cloak and dagger over here. Get behind this chap. Let's go for flesh sacrifice. Oh, you actually have a shit ton of physical armor, okay. Then that was kind of wasteful, but whatever. Let's just go for damage. Not a big deal. We're a little bit on fire, but that's okay. Finish off this skeleton. Yeah, I know, you're on fire. Alright, you... Actually, no, get behind the guy. You should be able to finish him off pretty easily. Alright, cool. You're about to die, girl. Here. Lay down in the sleeping bag for like half a second. That'll help. Let's see if our skeleton friends dropped anything worth having. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna help you, buddy. Let's try blessing this guy, see what happens. Uh, that did not put him out. Bummer. That was, uh, my one... <laughs> my one idea. Hmm. What happens if I kill you? Here to help. Go into the go into the light. All right, got a little XP for that. So we got about 1,700 XP for doing that room, which is it's worth it. We didn't, however, get a skull or a soul, which I was kind of banking on. So we're gonna have to look around and hope that we find another one. Maybe in one of these bone piles? Huh. Mm. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Alright, let's just come back in here. We can always use our gloves of teleportation. kind of cheese our way through this. Because I do not know where to get any more souls. Okay. What are you doing? Get over here. Come on.
All right. So let's find our gloves. Um, gloves of Telly. So you're going to teleport Losa into there. The gargoyle's toes, the dust of millennia drifting from its pocked wings. Many have come this way. Few have survived. I invite you to join them. Oh, ominous. Wow. Very impressed. Uh, then we need to take the gloves off. Let's give them to Losa. Put our gloves back on. Put the telly gloves on Losa. And grab Sibyl and bring her over here. And then we can go through this little hatch. You too. Come on. Come over to this gate. Ah, ah, ah. No. Then who's got teleport right now? You do. We'll take Sibyl, push her over there, and do the same trick one more time. Let's go in there. These go on here. Let's go on you. And ta-da! Cheesed our way through it. Good job, team. Good job. The stony gaze of the gargoyle pins you to the spot as it spreads its wings before you. Hey, what's up, Mecca? How you doing, player? Cheetah. Snake. Yep. Clever will only walk you so far. That's me. Nice. Level up. Let's go ahead and grab that pool of source on Losa. And there is a good chest over here that I would like to get. So before we move on into the castle, good, just chilling. Right on, dude. So are we not hanging today? What happened with that? Sounded like uh, Garrett changed the plans. So let's blink. Sibyl into there. And have her. Cool. Epic ring. Grab that. And then we'll just pull her back out. What are... So, Telly Gloves... I think I'm actually going to keep the gloves of Teleport on Losa. Her other gloves aren't really doing much. And having Teleport is a really nice skill. We got Constitution and Huntsman. Uh, that's not very good. Unfortunately. Huntsman. I mean, it is technically an upgrade there. So that works. Let's spend her points real quick. Just throw them into finesse. Dual wielding. And, oh, we have a new talent. I don't know, LOL, far as I know, we are... Garrett just couldn't make it. Yeah, it sounded like he wanted to change things to tomorrow, but I'm like, hey, dude, world doesn't revolve around you. So, yeah, if you still want to hang out later, I'm down. Like, f say, five-ish probably going to be streaming for the next couple hours. Um, so we have Lone Wolf, the Pawn. Water Rush, Torturer, Stench, Slingshot, Savage, Pal, 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 Parry Master. Parry Master wouldn't be a bad choice. Opportunist would be a good one. Hothead is pretty good, but eh. Gr 
gorilla. That's interesting. So we could potentially use this as a combat opener, try and sneak up on stuff, but that kind of just sounds like kind of like a lot of work that I don't really want to deal with. Um, duck, duck, goose is something we want. I think we're gonna go for Duck Duck Goose. No, I think we're gonna go for Opportunist. And we'll go for Duck Duck Goose next. Opportunist is gonna allow us to do attacks of opportunity. Duck Duck Goose allows us to not take attacks of opportunity. Which is important on a rogue character because we need to be repositioning around targets and getting attacked for doing that feels bad, man. Um, Sounds good? Awesome, Mecha. Awesome. Let's do it. Alright. These bitches up here are s cursed servants of Brachus Rex, like ones we've been dealing with. But we have their soul jars. So we've got Tam, Rosk, and Gwick. So let's throw Rosks, Wicks, and Tam Soljar right here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Careful with your clicks, Wolf Gore. You see three skeletons sitting around a table, cards in hand. They creak and turn to stare at you. Beating hearts. Does Brackus need us once more, Jerry? Are we finally to be freed? Uh. I am indeed your jailer, and I'm here to check on your prisoners. That door's been sealed for centuries, but now you're here to check on us. That's right. Let it speak. Tell us, what news? Does Brachus still sit on the throne? What ruins you brought to the land? Um, what yeah. What care I of Brachus? Tell us, invasive flesh. Does the harlot Gratiana share his bed? Does she still serve his wicked desires? That's interesting. Gratiana is the chick from the shrine of Amadia with that mask on that we talked to. So apparently she was sleeping with Brachus Rex, which implies that she is an undead because Brachus has been gone for a long time. Gratiana, do you mean the pri priestess that you met in the sanctuary? That witch, a priestess. Is no more godly than the mites in my skull. Gross. I've never seen a more treacherous smile than on her full, voluptuous lips. Mm. Canst thou think of nothing else? How many centuries have I endured hearing you remember your conquests? Hey, at least I didn't have to raise mine. That was naught but a whisper on the wind. A vile wind. Uh, cough lightly and ask if they could get back oh. on track. It coughs. I will not sit by as it breathes thus. It mocks us with the very air passing twixt its lips. Okay, you sound kind of like an undead elitist, but The family fine. creatures lay down their cards and push back their chairs. Indeed, but we'll soon put an end to that. And then, freedom. Uh, flash an intimidating smile. If they think Brachus was bad, they should see your curses. Oh. There's no curse in this world that I fear more than this. And no foe that I fear less than death. Well, I'm about to kill you, so you're welcome. Uh, can I? No. Attack. Farewell to flesh. Bye. Farewell to bone. Farewell. Beautiful. Thank you. Bye. My death waits. My eternal thanks, young one. Oh, time of death. You get a lot of XP from killing those guys that way. Uh, if you don't bring those soul jars with you, these guys will just keep coming back to life, and it's pretty irritating. Um, if you don't know about that. So... Let's get your level done real quick. Let's just put some points into strength. Um... 
Let's put some points into Hydro. I've been meaning to do that. And you now have a talent. So you've got Lone Wolf and Opportunist. I want... Uh, where is it? Executioner on you. So whenever Losa gets a kill now, she'll get two extra action points, which is really good. Really, really strong. I don't think these guys really drop anything other than that key, but let's just check. Nope. Not much in the way of loot here. I could check all these bone piles, but I'm not going to make you guys watch that. Right, and in true Brachus Rex form, bit of a puzzle here that we're going to have to solve. Eh, I don't know if I'd quite call it a puzzle, but... We're going to have to do some stuff and things to get all the loot from this room, or these rooms. I know there's some stuff in here. Teleportation scroll, jar of mind maggots, those are always good. Quite valuable. Legend of the Blood Rose. I don't need that. I already know what the Blood Rose is and what it do. Uh, you come over here. Pick this. Pretty sure there's something in here. Uh -huh. Oh, lockpick. Nice. Oh, what the fuck? Zombie? Hello. What are you doing? Ha, huh, you missed. You're dumb. Ow, you hit fucking hard. Okay, cool. Just beat the chap up. Knock him down because he hits fucking hard. Almost dead. There we go. Ooh, an eyeball. Take that. Got a skill book. Take these paintings. They're probably worth something. And let's get out of here. If we walk this way. Careful now. That's a trap. A trap. Gonna hit a bunch of traps. Ow. <gasps> Almost died. That's fine. The traps are gone. That's the important thing. And over here, we can get some really good gear. First things first. Let's come over to Losa. Let's go ahead and learn all of the restoration skill books that we have. Because we need the skill Rain. Uh, do we have any more? Armor of Frost. We already know Rain. And Restoration. Nice. Okay. Let's come into our skills. Let's drop Soothing Cold. Let's pick up Rain. And let's talk to this well. You approach a decrepit well and stare down into its toothless black mouth. No sooner has your head crossed the rim than weak voices begin to echo from the depths. Thirst, dry throats, drink water. Yep, I got you, fam. So we're gonna make it rain all over these bitches. The well is now filled to the brim with fresh, cool water. But what it has brought to the surface quickly evaporates any wish you may have had to quench your own thirst. 
You see the tangled remains of three corpses, a mixed mass of bones and skin from which three skulls protrude. They address you in unison, their voices a drone-like blend. We thank you for your order. We bless you for your order. We thank you for the end of the war. Hell yeah, my, my pleasure. Uh, say it was your pleasure. True thirst is a horror. A horror. Who was your tormentor? The king, Bracchus Rex, the madman with the crown. Wonder why Bracchus Rex punished them so horribly. Wrath and terror. We displeased the king. The truth we spoke. His fortune told. No divinity would he be. Mm. And so he entangled our bodies and cursed our throats. Smoked the brothers of Baladu. What a douchebag. We thank you for the water. We bless you for the water. We ask you for a fair. Ask what the fair is they're asking for. The fair. The toll. The levy. The people of Baladu must be buried with coin. Coin for the path keeper that leads the dead to the kingdom beyond. Uh -huh. Spare us coin. Grant us coin. The more you pay, the further the path keeper takes us. All right, I'll pay your fare. Sweet savior, friend of death and fiend of life, how much will you give? So, here you have three options to pay their fare. You can pay up to 150 gold, which I'm going to do. We thank you again. We bless you again. The wealth of the depths is yours. And... Mm -hmm. To the long awaited kingdom we will go. Laden with a burden of the coin you gave them, the brothers of Balador sink back to the bottom of the well. Whether they will find their kingdom or languish in the dark, wet depths forever, you cannot foretell. Uh huh. So, we actually got an epic belt from that right here, but we can get more. Not only can you do this on every character. But, by utilizing an item that we got off of that witch that we killed on the beach earlier, called Fane's Mask of Shapeshifter. So we can put this on Losa, and this gives us the ability to turn into a human, a lizard, an elf, or a dwarf. So, each one of these different forms allows us... You look to your the, hand, yeah, yeah, your yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-huh. The well is now filled Each time we do this, it allows us to do this again. So we can do this five times per character to get epic gear. So we just change form again. We're a lizard now. The well is now finished. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, and then 3. So we hit 1 10 times and 3 once. Let's turn into an elf. And all you can get from doing this is rings and belts for whatever reason. But you can get 10 epic rings and or 10 epic rings or belts by doing this with two characters. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is a good place to get some. Some good rings and belts. I mean, it takes a minute, but it's worth it. The well is now filled. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thank you. Laden with a burden. All right. Go ahead and put our helmet back on. The mask of strength. Let's go over to Sibyl. Let's have her the do it. Is now filled to you see the ta we thank you for horror. The king rock. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sweet. We thank you. Laden with. Then we put the helmet on her. And do the process one more time. The well is now filled. You see that. We thank you for horror. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sweet. Thank you. Laden. 
lizard. The well is now full. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Laden with a elf. The well is now filled. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Laden with a and lastly, dwarf. The well is now filled. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lay All right, cool. So we just got a shit ton of gear. And what was my helmet that I had before that one? All right, so let's look through our spoils. 7% dodge belt, 4% crit, and 15 health. That is an insanely good belt. Holy shit. Um, I think I want to give that to Losa because Sibyl should be behind targets when she's attacking, which guarantees a crit. So we don't necessarily want crit chance on her. Oh, plus two to dual wielding. That's probably really good for you. But let's see if we got anything better. Plus two to two-handed and two to crit. Oh my gosh, we got some really good belts. Let's just put all the belts together, then all the rings together to make them easy to compare. All right, so we got dodge crit, HP. Oh my gosh, that plus two to two-handed is so good. Oh, this is really tough. This is really tough. Um, let's look at your stats. So if we go with the two-handed belt, get a bit of a damage bonus. Way less crit. So we only lose a little bit of damage, but we gain a lot of crit from this belt and 7% to dodge. Okay, we're going to go with that option. And you. I'm happy with that. Let's look at the rings we got. We got a Hydro HP. Plus 2 to Warfare. Plus 1 to Summoning. Warfare? Summoning? We're definitely going to use this Warfare one. Plus 1 to Wits, 1 to Warfare. We're going to use that one. Constitution, Erethersh, and Necromancy. Um, let's go ahead and drop the Geo Ring for Warfare Wits. We did lose Fortify, but that's okay. We'll get some points into Geo soon. I'd like to keep the Restoration Ring on. That seems good. Uh, this restoration ring, however, is getting a bit outdated, so I think we're going to put on that warfare ring, which is going to enable her to learn some warfare skills. Um, Constitution, Necro, and Hydro. Do we want to drop... We could drop this ring, because we actually have the restoration skill on her. It'll just take up a memory slot. So we could go for 12, 22. That's actually a good fucking ring. So that's more HP, more magic armor. The plus one to Hydro. Yeah, I think we're going to put on the epic ring instead. And then let's go ahead and come over to Sabil And learn some of these warfare skills. Let's learn Enrage. Let's learn Battle Stomp. And Losa, you need to learn... I meant to do this a while ago. You need to learn Whirlwind. Provoke enrage and bouncing shield because she might end up wielding a shield i haven't decided if i want her to go shield or two-hander um 
But you know what? We've got options, and I like options. Interesting. You can actually learn Blood Rain. Let's just go ahead and take that. Uh, so we don't have anybody with any points in Geo right now. Another Enraged Kill Book. We can sell that. We already have Peace of Mind on Losa. Great. Okay, so let's, lastly, before we move on, go through and organize our skills. We don't need Rain. We don't need Bless for anything that I can think of right now. Uh, we do want Enrage. Enrage is really good. We definitely want Whirlwind. We're going to need to put some points in memory on her very soon. Going to need to spread things out a little bit. Let's put our heals here, utility here. Uh, Mosquito Swarm is kind of a heal, so we'll put that there. Encourage is kind of a heal, so we'll put that also there. I don't give a shit about Decaying Touch. So we've got one more memory slot. We could take Provoke. We could take Armor of Frost. Blood Rain doesn't really do anything for us. Unless we took Torturer. I think... We're going to take Provoke. That's going to allow us to taunt targets. Uh, to make sure that they're not attacking our rogue. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with all of that. Let's make sure everything looks okay on Sabeel. Got our buffs over there. And why isn't Tactical Retreat on my bar? Nice, we got Enrage. You know, Enrage actually isn't going to do that much on her. Because she should, like I was saying, she should be hind targets, critting them. So we shouldn't actually be needing Enrage at all. So we're actually going to drop that. Um, Maybe we'll take some more Polymorph skills. Bullhorns is interesting. It allows you to kind of have a battering ram ability every turn. Oh, battle stomp. We definitely want battle stomp. That's definitely what we want to go with here. Definitely, definitely, definitely battle stomp. Cool. All right. We're going to do more with polymorph later on. Uh -oh. Our build's definitely starting to come together, but I would like to play more with Polymorph on at least Sibyl, possibly Losa too. An antique key, I'll nice. take that. A strong girl. Move this. Move it there. Come here. Move that right there. Yeah, nice. Got a little hidden room over here. Well, kind of hidden. We should be able to get some gear upgrades in here as well. So let's come over to Subil. It's taking so long, girl. Why are you always lagging? Actually, no, that key we picked up does not open this. So let's just pick the lock. Get that out of my fucking way. And come in here. Mm. What does this do? Something. something seemed to move into place. Uh huh. All right, cool. We've got a crossbow. Eh. It'll probably sell for a lot. So that's just fine. Let's take that painting. And we could loot all of these little books for scrolls and stuff, but I don't want to do that. Hey, what's up, Rexked? 
Am I the only one, bro? Uh, at the moment, yes. At the moment. Alright, so we should be able to come in here now. I think Mecha is also here, but he's just lurking. Um, let's go ahead and the air around the glowing channel source into this. Power, as the, the hum of the relic grows louder and bright light starts to spill from its runes. Cracks start to spread across the surface and it shatters like glass. Yeah. Three thousand XP for that. Very cool. And a chain lightning skill, but cool. I think for my next playthrough, I'm gonna have a character that does arrow thirsh, air magic, lightning magic. Seems cool. Ooh, finesse chest piece. That might be an upgrade. And nope, never mind. I thought that was the kind of rune, rune that gave hit chance, which is what I want, but no such luck. This is where you get the Gloves of the Tyrant, the five-piece set that we've been talking about. And cool. Let's see what we got. Let's go ahead and identify these boots. Oh, I can't. I need more points in Lore Master. Fuck. Well, that's irritating. It's a nice crossbow. Is that chest piece an upgrade? Better defenses, but we would lose a point in finesse, which I don't want to do. doesn't work okay so we do need to get another point in lore master as soon as possible but for the time being we are done in here the castle of Brachus Rex let's just teleport out to somewhere um so we cleared this area shit I should have gone out the front door that was dumb all right well you live you learn I think we're actually going to walk back over there because we need to get down to that beach. This beach right here. So we need to go right here. It's just going to take a moment. So I've put some of my songs on YouTube and a lot of hate, but that's fine. I never said my music was perfect, but I gain lots of subs and a little bit of love through it. Dude, that's awesome. You know, don't let the haters get to you. Just let them uh, just let them push you forward, you know? Let the hate drive you to do better and uh, just rub it in their faces. And I'm proud of you for putting that on YouTube. That's awesome, man. You got skills. Keep doing what you're doing, man. I look forward to hearing what you make in the future. God, are you girls even coming? What the fuck are you doing? Literally, what the fuck are you doing? I. Oh my god, move! I've just been standing there this whole time. I fucking told you to come over here. Ugh. Annoying. What is that? That looks like something. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't look normal. Kind of want to poke around here, see if there's something. Something I can do. Haters nothing to me. Yeah, dude, I get it. I get haters too. There's always going to be haters on the internet, but fuck them. They're just people that are have sad, fucking boring lives and they have nothing better to do than go on the internet and make fun of people who are actually doing things. Working on their passions and whatnot. 
can't teleport back there. Huh. That's very curious looking, that little blue glowing thing in there. I don't think I can do anything with it, but... I don't know. Had to go the long way. The most popular people are hated, so, yep. The more people know of your existence, the more haters you're gonna have. I take it as a compliment. Finally, we're here. Why the fuck are you so slow? Why are you always behind? Come on. You're an elf. You should be fast on your feet. Isn't that a quality of elves? Alright. Well, by going the long way, at least we did get to avoid having to work our way back out through the maze. And there's a big-ass dragon over here. Uh, Slain the Winter Dragon, who we're going to deal with, but not today. 205 subs, dude? Congrats. That's awesome. That is awesome. Got a waypoint over here. And there's a really cool fight in this cave, which we're going to do before we call this an episode. Are my eyes fooling me? Ow. Ow. Fuck. Ouch. Ouch. Fuck. What's this? Looks strange. Yeah, I know. It hurts. It hurt me to have to do that to you. But come on. So in here, we are going to find the one and only Blood Rose in the game. Which is a very, very a cool little item, but we'll get into that in a little bit. Corpses, some fresh, some ancient. The sour smell of them stings your nostrils, your eyes. As you draw nearer, the stench blooms into a humid flavor you can almost taste. Gross. The woman turns to you, bitten lips parting into a grin. She tucks a small bunch of black red roses into a leather strap across her left hip and, preparing to curtsy, offers you a hand. Uh, think better of taking her hand and stand away from her. What a bull! Yeah, I know. She stands to her full height, her lips pursed in disappointment. She cocks her head and takes you in. The stench of death and sewage suddenly intensifies. Gross. Uh, fight against the urge to be sick and introduce yourself. I am Radica. And you, you must be here for the same reason as I. Uh, I don't know. She pats the bouquet at her hip. But you're too late. These roses belong to me. Looks like we'll have to find some other way to keep you busy. You sleut. Um, smile. Notice the way the clasp and buckles on her outfit press into her caramel skin. Tell her she has your attention. She bites her lip and leans in, close to your face. As she whispers... Her breath, faintly fragrant with a sweet honey of smell, caresses your ear. You almost forget where you are. It's getting hot, boys. It's I getting hot. I find you rather delicious. Take her by the hip and kiss her deeply. Suddenly, her breath Get it, girl. in your mouth. It is rank, moldering, thick with the taint of death. You try to pull away, but she is holding you tight and hard. You hear a low hum, getting louder. Before you realize what's happening, winged insects pour from her throat down yours. They ricochet around your mouth, a wet, buzzing mass, more by the second. Suddenly, all at once, they start stinging you from inside. Yeah. Push her off with all your strength. She stumbles back a few paces and wipes her mouth. Ha <laughs> ha! Delicious. Mmm, so bloody delicious. You're gross. Tell me, little girl, do you know why the soil here is so very fertile? Do you know why it's the only place in Reaper's Coast where blood roses grow? Go to hell. Now, now. Let's not be unkind. And don't change the subject. 
It's the corpses, darling. Blood roses only grow in soil rich with corpses. Huh. I'll need more roses soon enough. I already started with the last traveler who interrupted me. Come, let's make next year's harvest a real bounty. Yeah, good luck with that. All right, Rika the Witch. Redica the Witch. That's a lot of ads. So it looks like we got one, two, three, four zombies, three big ass beetle things, and Redica the Witch herself. Uh, this is not going to be an easy fight. I would like to kill her. She also diseased Losa for five turns. Minus two constitution and minus 35% damage, which is really bad. But fortunately, we have the skill first aid, which removes diseased. So let's do that. Let's do a tactical retreat up behind her. And let's start going for damage. Stab her once. Let's use adrenaline. Stab her again. We've broken through her armor. So let's use a battle stomp to knock her down. We're going to have Losa also. Tactical retreat up on here. Let's just go right there. Let's actually use Encourage at the beginning. And go Mac. Mac. Oh, the miss. The miss. She's laying on the ground, you idiot. How did you miss? Zombies do hit very hard. Actually, that one didn't hit very hard. Other zombies in the game hit particularly hard. Not these ones, apparently, and that's fine. So, I don't think we need to be too worried about the zombies. Alright, she's back up. Ah, oh, fuck. She got a big-ass heal. Let's go ahead and Sawtooth. Woo, bitch. Fucked with the wrong girls. All right, she's dead. That's the main threat gone. So from there, let's go ahead and haste Losa. like these zombies are all going to group up nice for us. Let's actually delay turn. Let's see if we can get this last zombie to group up. Nice. We did. Ouch. Ouch. This is fine. Oh, gross. I got diseased. Oh my god, enough! Ouch. Ew. Okay, finally, your turn. Um, Let's go ahead and... I can... Enrage to make all my attacks guaranteed crits, so let's do that. do a whirlwind it's gonna break all of their armor and then let's knock them down I'm gonna get a substantial amount of health back from that but let's actually drink a potion my ah oh, fuck I'm decaying so I can't drink a potion or it'll do damage to me instead like poison 
So we're just going to have to enter. Um, let's go ahead and do peace of mind on Losa. Blink over to this bug. Totally fucking miss. Awesome. I don't think I can backstab here. So let's do one attack and knock it down. And oh no, we got it. We got it. You are going to bull rush. Ooh, shit, girl. That did a lot of damage. The healing from Necromancer is actually killing us right now because we are decaying. Which is uh, unfortunate, to say the least. Um, yeah, unfortunate is definitely... Definitely what it is. I can't fucking do anything. So I think we're just going to actually end turn. Hopefully they don't kill her. Ouch. Fuck off. Shit. That's a shame. So let's use a resurrection scroll on her. There. Fuck! I'm still decaying. Is it because I'm on cursed blood? Is that what's happening? That's really annoying. Um. Shit. All right. Why the fuck did that heal you? You make no sense. Crap! I think she's gonna die again. Yeah, she did. Miss, 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 fuck. Alright, I think the cursed blood is the problem, so let's use another res scroll. Let's put you over here. Okay, she's not decaying. Do a tactical retreat up behind this beetle. Give it the old saw too. Let's go for a flesh sacrifice and finish it off. Please, please, please don't fucking kill her. She can take one hit, not two. Fuck you, you son of a bitch. God damn it. Ugh, what a waste of scrolls. I should have just left her dead at this point, honestly. Alright, let's kill fucking Beetleface over here. Let's get out of here with Cloak and Dagger. Haste. Should have used adrenaline. That's fine. Hey, what's up, Steph? Welcome back. Get up behind this hoe. Backstab. Knock it down. And we're fine. Don't miss. Alright, shit. It's a hell of a fight. Alright, let's resurrect Losa again. Let's see what we got for loot. This witch should give us something good, at least. 
tormented soul. Hello. Oh, wow. Okay, we got epic belt, an epic intellect helmet, which we can't use, epic shield, and a wand. We already have infect, and another purging wand, which is good, and then a blood rose. Now the blood rose, interestingly, can be combined with a empty potion bottle. Where the fuck is my... There we go. So we combine an empty potion bottle with... Where the hell did my blood rose go? God damn it. There it is. To make an Atar of the Blood Rose. Now this thing gives you plus one to strength, finesse, intelligence, constitution, memory, and wits. Forever. But, the caveat to that being, if your character dies, the effect is lost. So I think we're going to give this to Sibyl because she is tending to not be the one who dies. And she does good damage, so let's auto-sort and drink that. So nice, she just got substantially stronger. We just have to make sure that she never dies for the rest of the game. Which should be doable, as long as we are careful. And that's been a little over an hour, so that's where we're going to call this episode on the YouTubes. I think that was episode number 10. I hope you all enjoyed. Like and subscribe if you did and all that good jazz. I love your faces, Beardheart, and I'll see you here with some more Divinity Original Sin next time.